Hey, how are you doing? Good. So, what's up? Any any luck so far? Nothing waiting? Hi. Yeah. What's going on? Man, well, that's it's awesome. on fire today. Yeah? No, I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. See you down cool. there? I'll follow you. Runner TRD Pro. <laughs> what? He's booking it. That's fine. I like that. I like that he's not driving that one mile per hour. I like how, I think he's have he's having to drive really fast because he doesn't want to keep looking at good structure spots and not being not not being able to stop for them. Are you for real? That's I mean, why he's so useful between fishermen brains. That's that's why I would be driving this fast because I I can't keep stopping. I want I have a one track mind. I want to get to my spot down there. I don't want to get distracted by these. And look at how these people are buried their rods in the in the ground. That's a really good way to lose your rod at any kind of big fish. We're both riding around in Yodas. I like that. Yodas. Toyotas? Yodas? Yodas? That's what they call them. Yodas. I have a feeling it's gonna be a good day. This dude's already caught seven whitings. He's just been waiting for me for like a couple, like maybe 30 minutes or so. I went and bought bait in case I couldn't catch whiting, but I've got everything I need to catch fish, big fish right away. But I'll, I'll throw out for some whiting, I'll throw out for some black drum and stuff. We keep stopping to talk to other shark fishermen. I think he's getting the report. You know, he's shaking their hands, saying, "Hey, how, how's the how's the fishing been?" He's talking to shark fishermen specifically, and I think we're looking for shark today. I'm ready. I mean, I've just been catching bull reds after bull reds. I want to see if we can catch a shark. Something different, you know. It could be really interesting. You know, I've never seen. A huge shark come out of Texas yet. That that's another thing I want to knock off my bucket list. I want to catch a big shark from Texas. It's gonna be awesome. I've already knocked off so many things from my bucket list. This is something so different too, you know? Tim is talking to all the best people right now, getting the report so we can figure out where we should we should post up and try. And I'm lucky to be here with Tim following him around. <laughs> that was too fast. Oh, we gotta slow down a little bit, cowboy. Come on. <laughs> Easy there, Tex. Are you calling yourself Tex? No, I'm calling call <laughs> Tex. That was too much. We were bouncing around, bouncing around, bouncing. <laughs> I'll get back over here this time. Too much activity down there, right? Yeah, we're gonna get our lines dragged by the shrimp boats. No, we don't want that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's park and get fishing, buddy boy. I have a good feeling about today. I do too, <laughs> especially going out with this guy Tim. He's been giving me insight all week. Yeah. So like, every place he told me to try, I've been catching fish. He's so. a nice guy too. Yeah, he's very a good easy guy. to talk to. I'm excited. on our back and it's going this way and look at the water it looks so nice I think he brought his drone and everything too oh. wow look at this big shark rod <laughs> yeah that's a, that's a 50 wide nice I just got that rod too I haven't used that one too much I got it over the winter time there's your swell pro yeah You're gonna yeah. fly him out the drone yep yep Cool man, I like so, I like your setup. This is probably the most most rods I've ever brought out. <laughs> <laughs> how many how many shark rods are we gonna have out? Six shark rods out. Holy cow! So, Too bad Carlos couldn't make it. I know, right? That would have been fun. <laughs> right up the shark. Yeah. 
Why don't I just watch you tie it up? Sounds good. Sounds good. So I make leaders for the sharks. Fresh leaders here. I like how organized you are. Thanks. So I make these leaders myself. 480 pound wire, probably about five, six feet long. Wow, 480? 480. And then this is, I don't remember, I think this is five or 600 pound mono, about, I don't know, seven feet long or so. Very cool. And then this is where I connect the drone to, so it just connects to this little hook right here, and it just flies up like oh, that. Oh, it'll drop yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. And you drone them all out? Yeah. And I drone them all out. Yeah. Nice. Let me see that hook. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 20, 20 odd hook. 20 odd hook. Yep. Oh my God. There's mullet jumping right now out there too. Oh, that's such a good sign. That's a great sign. That's a really good sign. <laughs> Look at how enormous this hook is. Can you imagine how big the fish is going to be? Wow. I'm going to fish with some of this blue crab here. And that's going to land me either a black drum or a uh, red drum. I would love another big red drum from the surf. There. Just like that. Oh, look at his bait. Look at all that bait. Hey, you want to take a look at the bait? Yeah. This is shark bait. It's got a bunch of rays. Yep. Whiting, fresh whiting. Uh, yeah, I got a couple of black drum. Got one right there. Got whiting I caught today. This is from home. This is fresh caught today. Nice and bloody still. These are some big whiting. Yeah, man, look at this. Look at this bull whiting. I would eat <laughs> that, that one right there. <laughs> this is perfect redfish bait right here. And you're going to put that whole stingray on. Oh, no, no. Big baits, they, it never works with big baits. Big baits never work? Well, I mean, it, it depends on what you're targeting. Right now, it's only smaller sharks, so uh -huh. if you get a big bait, they'll just pick it up and just start playing with it. Uh -huh. You'll never hook it. But if you get a smaller one, it just fits right in their mouth. And they'll and just, just run away with yeah. it. Easy, easy yeah. meal. Yep. So I cut them into four quarters this way. I would say, I've never seen a stingray, a ray just being cut like that. Yeah, I filleted it and then I realized there's worms everywhere in it too. Yeah. So yeah. I might as well keep the head. We will use it today. Yep, yep. Cut it. Brendan, you're getting a bite. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. attacking it. Might have been catfish or something. Yeah, he's going to drone out these three baits right here. And land them all the way in the deep water over there. And hopefully, there's some big fish out there that's going to eat any of these baits. I mean, We've got enormous chunks of fish here for me. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to catch something crazy. Though. Okay. I just opened the release right here. It's got it on. That's it. I'll show you how it releases. Just oh. like that. So. The weight oh, to you set. just said return home? Yeah. So it'll just fly back on its own, and then that time I just wait for the weight and just set the weight, uh, and that's it. Where's the drone? Right above us. Oh! 
Turn home. Yep. That was about 240 or so. 240 feet. Yards. 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 Yeah. I hope it's a black drum. Cause then maybe we can send that out. Best case scenario, or a slot red. It's a stingray! Oh, it's a stingray. <laughs> you want it to bait? He's perfect size, too. Awesome. Perfect, awesome. There we go, that's perfect bait. That's why I got this rod out, because it can catch bait, I can catch whiting. If I catch whiting, I'm gonna probably, I wanna eat those. I'm gonna bring them for your cousin. But if I catch stingrays, I can give it to him for bait. Works out. And we catch them all with the, I mean, the catch-all rig right here. See? This one's the glow one. And we're using it with, uh, see these clams? That's just a rod that I always have out, is one of these rigs with some of our salted bait on it. All right, I love using this clam because of the color is really naturally this color. It attracts the fish. And then it's just really a nice bait because you don't have to worry about it going bad. It's like all natural. I'm gonna put this on. Hopefully we can catch some whiting, some more bait fish. I like the red parts, but I also like the parts that are not red. They just look like a regular clam. So I'm gonna do that. Maybe a piece of real shrimp here. This is some fresh shrimp that I had yesterday. Just a little, little bit of each. Here's our catch-all rig, and it's called a catch-all rig because you can catch all sorts of fish on this. There we go, with that. Come here, man. Come here. 
Take it. Take it. Keep, keep it tight. Keep it tight. Whoa! What does it oh, feel like? Oh, next to you, so be careful. Yeah, you want to steer it this way away from our other lines? Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want to tangle up our stuff. This is a good size one, man. Woo! Feel it? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I like this reel, too. You got to level one. There you go. Taking me to the gym today. <laughs> Going sideways on us. He's trying to run, trying to run east. There you go. Yeah, turn him, turn him. There you go. Oh my goodness. You want me to get the fighting plate? No, it's okay. Unless you think so. I've never used one. Holy cow. It's a big fish. That's what it looks like to me. Oh. oh my goodness. I like your stickers. <laughs> Lift it up. Set up there. There you go. Oh, nice. Whoa. It's better leverage, huh? Dude, yeah. That's it's better awesome. leverage. He's stubborn out here. He's probably on the sandbar. That's probably what it is. Should I try and pull? I gotta pull him over the sandbar, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Just, just go real slow over the sandbar and he'll get over it. He'll, he'll start doing he'll start this. swimming his yeah, way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, every time I hooked the shark, I was not ready for it. <laughs> this is the only time I've ever been ready for the shark. <laughs> He's taking us down the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in another rock? Another shark. Another? Oh, honey. He's giving me slack. You see him out there? Look, look, use your iPhone to zoom out. Look. Okay, I see him. Whoa. Yeah. Look at that swimming in the surf right there. Well back. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Okay, walk back. Holy cow! That thing is freaking massive! Let me get my kit. Oh my god! Oh, Holy cow! Damn. Holy cow! Seven, Seven foot, foot one. one. Oh my god. Fork uh five foot nine. Yeah. We will get the dirt. Play again. Packing them? Yep. Wow. DNA sample? DNA sample? DNA sample, yep. Where is it? I'll put it in the bottom. No picture. Yeah. 
I don't, that's enough for me today. I know, that'll wear your ass out. <laughs> that's my first big shark ever. That was awesome. It seemed like you know what you were doing, though. Well, I fished. I fished. That's why. So, and, and so I knew that the best thing when I'm having difficult like that yeah. is for me to walk keep back. backing up. Yeah. He's going to go out then anyway. Then you don't got to use your arm strength. You can just walk it back. You can walk. Smart. Yeah. yeah. That, that was helpful because my arms were tired by then. I know. I can, and you were like, just tell. walk it back. Just walk it back. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks Woo! for the that got me chill bumps. I haven't had chill bumps. I'm like, look at the chill bumps. <laughs> that was so cool. Nice job, that was amazing. Yeah, that was good yeah. What do you do? Oh, yeah. What do you do with the DNA samples? You send it to, uh, so it's part of the Texas Shark Rodeo. Oh, that's oh. why everybody's shark fishing. That's right, yeah. Oh, they're doing the rodeo, right? Yeah, they're doing the Texas Shark Rodeo. Ah, uh, yep. So we get the fin sample, send it off, and then they get the tag, and we send all the information. It's conjunction with uh, it's Texas A&M Corpus Christi and the Heart Foundation. So. Good oh, stuff. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so. congratulations, uh, dude! That's a Thank high you five. so much. I'm glad we got to watch it. That was awesome. I'm glad we had an audience. That was fun. <laughs> you were pumping me up. <laughs> I'm glad I could help. Thank you. Dude, that was oh, like you knew what you knew what to do right away. <laughs> that's not the weight. That's what I was gonna ask. Oh, I don't know what the weight is. I mean, yeah. how much do you reckon? Probably we're close to 300 at least. He wasn't heavy. He, he wasn't light to pull out. Oh, I know. He was heavy. I, I, know. <laughs> I, was, I was like, that's why I kept telling, him, try to back up, try to back up because you're, you know. My arms were arms tired. Are... She was like, just walk it back, walk oh, yeah, it back, yeah. and that was helpful. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Walking it back was helpful. Thank you. I'll put that in here. Yeah, right here. Those things right there. Is that seven? Ow. <laughs> Brennan, you just caught it over a seven foot shark. Yeah. Bucket, that's another thing off my bucket list. This is amazing. That was amazing. Are you tired now? <laughs> you know, you, I want to see you real one in. You keep saying that. What? Well, shark feel, man. <laughs> in, insane. Dude, that was crazy. Your gear worked so well, too, man. Yeah. That was, this is a great setup for it. It makes it fun, too, right? Yeah. Not too heavy. Yep. Perfectly match the size of the shark, right? Yep. Yep. Awesome. For sure. So which one do you? Which one's gonna, gonna get hit next? Which one do you think? That's the only one kind, kind of out right now. I gotta resend this one because the shark was running into this one constantly. Oh, it, it tangled up with this, this one a little bit. Yeah. But luckily, That's luckily, I think it cut off. I kept trying so. to run it down that way and, and turn its head he that way. He was too big. To... <laughs> yeah. He was bullying me a little bit. He was fat. <laughs> it was really hard to get it over that sandbar. It's oh, like, yeah. like you said, just steady pressure, not too yeah. hard. And it'll eventually he just wiggled his way over the top of that. Yep, yep, yep. I, I, I hooked a big one like this before in North Carolina and yeah. it got stuck on the sandbar. That's where I snapped it off because oh. I, I tried to t tug it too hard. Yeah, yeah. And the tide was going out, so it was less and so less. It was fighting and less. him, fighting him. Yeah, so that's Man. how I lost my last one. But Those are the roughest ones. That, I had I had gear for my drum. I, I hooked it on a drum rig. Oh, yeah. Not this. Yeah. So if I hooked it on this, this might have been a little bit different because you have all that. Uh, shock leader. Yeah, a little more heft. Mm -hmm. Definitely the biggest shark you've ever caught. For sure. Definitely. <laughs> For sure. And win that badge. <laughs> This is Aaron. Aaron's getting ready for it. I'm scared. You're on? Over my hat. Take this. Oh yeah, he's on. 
goodness. You ready, Aaron? Okay. Okay. Oh, holy cow. <laughs> yeah, make sure you level wind it too. Okay. There you go. Now he's running that way, so keep oh him this way. God. There you go. No. <laughs> that is so strong. <laughs> you gotta wind it, Aaron. Okay, but. <laughs> Tight. There you go. You feel them under? Oh yes! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> That's so crazy! <laughs> I like how you have one glove on. Oh yeah, I couldn't find the other one. <laughs> Dang! What? I don't know if it's on there. Really? Okay, it is. What do you oh mean you don't God. know if it's on there? I couldn't feel it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta pull it this way. I think Tim's on another one. Oh my goodness. Oh, Tim's on another one. We got two sharks on. Holy cow, Aaron. You got this, babe. Oh, wow. That is so strong. I okay, now it. walk towards the shoreline and, and reel it in. Don't give him any slack, okay? My arms are hurting. So look, walk it back and then reel in as you walk okay, forward. Okay, I understand. So you don't use your arms, yeah. Keep but it tight. Keep tension. Walk closer. You you want to take more spool in. You want to take more line Whoa. in. Oh. What? Oh my goodness. I'm getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> Has it made any runs yet? Yeah. Yeah, it's been making runs. <laughs> You're out of breath. Oh no. Going for another run? Ooh. Very stubborn. <laughs> All the work you pull back. <laughs> yeah. Have you surf has he surfaced yet? If he goes for a big run, put the rod tip down a little bit. Okay, and just let him take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Don't let him have any slack, right? <laughs> my. Pulling again? Oh my, oh there it is. It's so close. And yet so far. Reel it in, Aaron. Reel it in. He has it. Nice. Okay. How do you feel? Wow. Tired? Yeah. And that was not nearly as big as the one you got. It's not? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Holy cow. <laughs> nice job. So now Tim is gonna tag it? Is huh? that yeah, what's he's happens? gonna tag it now. Oh. I'm gonna run back here with him. Sandbar, link. Six foot. Six foot six. Woo. Hey. I know. Um, I just yeah. wanted to say you did a really good job landing that fish. Oh, thank you. When they mate, they bite each other and there's a lot of bite marks. So this mimics a lot of their mating biting patterns, so it really doesn't hurt them. DNA sample? DNA sample, yep. Crazy! Thank you so much. Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you. <laughs>
Spot one bit. <laughs> My arms are about to fall off now. So. Oh, nice yeah. job, man. That was awesome. Six foot seven, man. That's Six awesome. foot seven, another that's big boy. That's a solid boy. one, man. That's a solid yeah. one. Just to let y'all know, that's not normal to catch a bunch of <laughs> same <laughs> Really? Like that's so. I mean, like, yeah. We're a lucky day, huh? Yeah, it's a lucky day, man. Eric, you did such a good job landing that. <laughs> You're strong. That's why you. <laughs> that's why you stay working out though, right? That's right. why you keep lifting. Yeah. I mean, so you that's can keep right. landing big fish. <laughs> Are you going to be able to film anymore? You're going to have to utilize a tripod more now. Yeah. Good job. High fives. Do this, pop around everywhere. Yep, swim around everywhere. Yep. Very acrobatic fish. Killing it, man. Woo! He hasn't taken much line back. No. He just keeps taking it. He's definitely winning the fight far more than I did. <laughs> See, if I start shark fishing, I can drop my gym membership, and uh, this will. It'll be just more efficient. I can get more fishing done and work out at the same time. beautiful fish and tagging it and getting the DNA sample I think is a really great thing. Go triple. All nice right. job. Yeah. Dang, you got you good. Did you yeah. Yeah, Does that happen every time? With the bull sharks they do, they tend to. So <laughs> I have my shoes in the car. I think I need to wear them now. <laughs> yeah, any more is going to be bad. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
He's he's swimming in, so I'm trying to keep it <laughs> keep it tight. Yeah, grab the harness off me. <laughs> he's still swimming in. Oh yeah, he is still swimming in. Wow. Real is some, some, some serious realage. Serious realage? <laughs> this reel is so cool. <laughs> it's huge, isn't it? Yeah. It's massive. It's so smooth too. Oh dude, this is a nice one. Probably another bull shark. This is way you'll find it. Oh there he is. This reel is like manhandling the shark. <laughs> it's a redfish. It's a redfish? Yeah. Holy crap. It's a massive red. Whoa. Whoa. That's only the second time I've had a redfish eat my stingray bait. This is wow. good. Holy crap. That is it. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Man. Yeah. They are out there. Dude. <laughs> they just want stingray. That's so crazy. <laughs> what the heck? Dang. 44 inch. Take a picture together. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's nice. Oh my goodness. Do you have anything to say? Wow. What an amazing 44 trip. inches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. It's a thick one. Man. That was a nice one. Teamwork, man. <laughs> we made it happen. Hey, thank you for taking us out. Thank you for showing us around Texas. For sure. Really appreciate that. Come back again and visit for sure. Oh, we will. We will. There's no way we can't. I think the, say, the saying is true. Everything is bigger in Texas. Look at this. <laughs> Let's get her back in the water. Oh. Wasn't even, he just swam off right away. <laughs> Water so cold or feisty. Woo! Wow. That was insane, man. Nice. Nice. That is an awesome reel. Huh? 44 Yes. Nice. Nice. That was crazy. <laughs> I muscled that one in because I thought it was a shark. I was going to be like. And then he was like, that's how many pound braid is that? 200 pound. 200 pound. You could really muscle him in. I was like, okay. <laughs> and you have a fighting belt on. <laughs> Best case scenario today. We got sharks, we got redfish. Yeah. It's a good size one, too. Yeah. Wow, that was a freaking <laughs> insane day of fishing, man. Is, is it always like that for you? Pretty much. It's pretty fun out here. So, <laughs> Texas is awesome, are out man. Here this Thank you so much for showing us around, you know, man, helping yeah. us with the insight. Really means a lot. Yeah, for sure. Come visit again. We definitely <laughs> will. I think fall time, we're going to be back here in uh, Matagorda, Texas. Well, first I want to give a big thanks to Tim for showing us around, giving us some insight on the area. It's really, it's really helpful when, uh, when we get some local insight because it's, it's really challenging coming to a new place, not knowing any kind of structure, any kind of uh, place to start. So thanks, Tim. Yeah, for sure, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, and I also want to thank all of our subscribers for watching. Thank you everyone who's supporting us and still with us here today it's been it's been uh, a really great trip so far and uh, thank you everyone here in Texas who has been showing us support and uh, giving us motivation giving us inspiration here at Hey Skipper we want to help you guys get on fish and we want to teach you guys that fishing is one of the most meditative ways to get out and experience nature well for me at least and I hope you guys can go out and enjoy doing the same thing thank you guys I'll see you guys next week